Let's talk some more about fact families. There are three green cubes. There are five blue cubes. We can use this picture to show three plus five. Now, I'm going to change the order of my add-ins. This is an add-in, and this is an add-in. Now, I would say 5 plus 3. I changed the order of my add-ins. But there's no more cubes or no less cubes. The number called the sum stays the same. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five plus three equals eight. Now, Let's see what happens if I change the order of my add-ins back to 3 plus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. My sum is still 8. I can change the order of my add-ins, but my sum, the whole thing, the total, stays the same. Now, let's look if I start with all eight of my cubes. And then let's say I want to start with eight, but I would like to take away three. Ah, three have disappeared. How many cubes are left here? Hmm, one, two, three, four, five. Eight minus three is five. Now let's say I want to try this one. And instead, I would like to, from my total of eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I would like to take away the five. Bye bye. And I'm left with three cubes are left because eight minus five equals three. I'm going to take my hider off. Now my cubes are exactly the same. I had three and five, and I can use them separately as two different add-ins, three and five and five and three, but always the total number of cubes that I have on my work mat is eight. I kept my cubes on my work mat when I subtracted. I started with eight because that's my total. I just said, what if they went bye-bye? And what if they went bye-bye? And I can see here that my numbers for my fact family, they're so related. The largest number, the sum, always sits alone when I add. The largest number, also called the sum, sits alone when I add. And the other two numbers trade places because I can change the order of the add-ins, but the sum stays the same. That's called the commutative property. Over here when I subtract, well I have to subtract from all my cubes. I can't only subtract from these and ignore the rest. I have to subtract from my sum total of eight. So if I start with the largest number, then I can take away the other choices. When I take away this side, whoop, I'm left with those three. If I were to take away these, whoop, I'm left with the other ones. I hope this helped you to understand and visualize in your head about fact families.